Hi, my name is Warner Washup, and now I just had conference talks on my YouTube channel. However, I thought I would start a series of new videos to highlight various aspects of the history of Unix. These will be short and easy to watch. Today, I'm going to answer a question that I saw on Facebook. The question was, what is the oldest BSD distribution? And to answer this question, I'm going to assume they mean, what is the oldest BSD distribution that has been in continuous use? Because you can easily say one BSD is the oldest next, but that's not very helpful. So I'll talk about that today. The five main BSD OSs are Mac OS, Dragonfly, FreeBSD, NetBSD, and OpenBSD. Now there are others that are distributions of some of these, but those are the five main ones. So which one of these is the oldest? Well, if we step back a step in history, the last fork that we had was when Dragonfly split from FreeBSD. This happened in the year 2000, when Matt Dillon and the rest of the FreeBSD project parted ways over how to handle scaling in multiprocess. Also in 2000, Mac OS started. So we can eliminate it from the oldest continues at this point. Exploring the history of Mac OS might be something I do in a later video. Stepping back another four years, we're back to 1996, where Theodore Ratt and the NetBSD project parted ways. Theo went off to create OpenBSD to focus more on security, and NetBSD focused more on portability. So we have NetBSD and FreeBSD. Stepping back another three years, we see that FreeBSD and NetBSD both started in the year 1993. However, NetBSD started a few months before FreeBSD. So you might think NetBSD is the answer. Well, it turns out that this is a little bit more complicated than, than you might think. If we rewind history even more, back to 1980, Berkeley just released 2BSD, which was based on 7th edition Unix. And this is a, a very old uh, version of Unix now. It's kind of considered to be the classic that had the most simplicity, most elegance, and everybody wants to run until they actually run it and find that the simplicity and elegance had a price, usually in performance. So Berkeley went on to do 3BSD and 4BSD, which became the operating system of choice for the BACs. Berkeley added demand paging with 3BSD over the BACs version of 7th edition called 32V, and further refined the system with networking and performance improvements through the 4BSD line. About the time they put out 3BSD, they produced a 2.8 BSD. This took all the patches that they had accumulated and made a bootable tape that people could use and maybe stop bugging them about PDP 11s because the computer science department had moved on, the electrical engineering department had moved on, and there weren't really that many PDP 11s hanging around Berkeley anymore. The trouble is the PDP 11 was very, very popular. And so Berkeley was effectively forced to do a 2.9 BSD merging in changes from the 4 BSD line, 4.1 BSD in this case. At that point, they said, okay, we're done. We don't want to do this anymore. So a company called Seismo started to basically manage the BSD releases. And there's a long history here that I won't go into, but this history culminated in uh, 1991 when 2.11 BSD was released. 2.11 BSD was basically a new system. It moved from the uh, old Unix file system to the fast file system that Berkeley had had. So you had to install all of your 2BSD systems completely from scratch if you wanted to go from 2.9 or 2.10 BSD to 2.11 BSD. So in a lot of ways, it's a new system. So that makes a good demarcation point. 2.11 BSD was released in March of 1991 and has had patches released for it every year for the most part since then. This makes it the oldest maintained, continuously maintained, open source uh, distribution at this point. Now you might say, question was about unit about BSD, not about open source. Well, <clears throat> that's true. And you might also ask, what about Linux? That started in September 1991 when Linus released 
his first images. Also true, but he released The Colonel in 1991. It wasn't until 1992 that software distributions started springing up. And the oldest living one today is Soft Landing, SLS, SLS Linux. And it started in September of 1992, making it a few months younger than uh, 2.11 BSD. So not only is 2.11 BSD the oldest BSD distribution, it's also the oldest open source OS distribution, at least for Unix-like operating systems. Anyway, that answers the question for today. I will talk more about 2.11 BSD in future talks because I'm currently doing a project to um, recreate some lost artifacts from that. Don't have time for that today? Tune in next time for that. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe to see more videos from me in the future.